What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a very different video for you guys. Um, this video is not like my usual videos. Um, I just got this weird feeling right now that I just needed to sit down, record this video for you guys because I feel like I'm not the only one out there that is feeling this way and I'm going to try super hard not to get emotional. Try. So this topic has been on my mind lately and I'm glad I'm actually going to talk about it with you guys. So I want to talk about haters and I know this is kind of a touchy subject because there's a lot of haters in this world. There's a lot of bullies. There's a lot of people that just want to destroy you. Now whether they are just jealous of you or they just want something that you have or they're just flat out bullies. They're out there and there's tons of them in this world we live in. Now I'm going to try to encourage you guys to do something which you probably don't want to do, which is to love your haters. Now I know what you're thinking. You want me to love my haters? The people that are hating me? And the answer is yes. Not because you have to, not because you should, not because haters are your motivators. That's not why. That's not the reason why you should love them. If there's somebody in your life right now that you just know that they don't like you, that they just wish the worst for you, that they, nothing good comes out of your relationship with them, if you even have a relationship with them, you need to love them. You need to forgive them before they even apologize. You need to treat them how you want to be treated even when they don't deserve it. Even when you think they don't deserve it, they do because we all deserve it. We all deserve God's grace. We all deserve forgiveness. If you don't forgive them, how do you expect God to forgive you for all your sins? Nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. I'm not trying to say I am. I'm not trying to come across as, oh, I'm this perfect girl who doesn't sin. And I love everybody. And I'm not just saying that. I truly love everybody. And it didn't, this didn't happen overnight. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting emotional and I need to stop. This took a lot of patience and prayer and I'm not gonna lie, I questioned God, which was horrible. I, I was like, God, why do why did these people deserve my forgiveness? You know, like they did this and this to me, they talk about me like this and this, they blah blah blah, etc. etc. And God says, you know what? You need to forgive them. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know. Think about it. Why are they taking the time out of their day to comment on your stuff, to text you these horrible, nasty messages, to do all this stuff? Why do you think they're doing that? You right now are in their mind. Do you realize that? Like, they're just thinking about you. Like, what? Maybe they're not thinking highly of you. Maybe they're not thinking good things about you. Maybe they're thinking you know, really evil things about you, but hey, they're thinking about you. <laughs> you know, they say sticks and stones break my bones, but words, and it's like, no, that doesn't apply to everybody, you know? Words hurt. Words are painful. Words can get you bad. If you say these evil things to me and you're feeding these evil things to me, how am I supposed to act like, you know, my heart is, is a rock and just be like, Take it like a man, no. People actually have a heart, you know? They're gonna feel these things that you're feeding to them. So think about things before you say them. For those of you that are bullying people, whether you know it or not, you need to stop. You need to think about what you're saying to them. You need Just because you're saying it and it doesn't bother you and hey, it's just a joke, no, they that doesn't mean they're taking it as a joke. What you think is a joke might not be a joke to somebody else. If you were being bullied in, in high school or, or middle school or whatever, if you're not even in school, you know, I'm not gonna lie, bullies back in the day and bullies now are extremely different. You don't have to be shoving somebody in a locker room to be a bully. You don't have to be beating somebody up physically to be a bully. If somebody is low-key throwing something at you, like, you know, like, oh, she does this, so no, we're not gonna talk to her. He's this, he wears this, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but that's, that's not okay. Sometimes the low-key stuff and the non-physical stuff, the mental stuff, gets you worse. Sometimes it's just more painful to, you know, hear your name, you know, somebody talking about you behind your back. Sometimes that's just more painful, you know, than getting beat up. If you are taking the time out of your day to bring somebody else down, I'm sorry, but you are being a bully. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of seeing people in hurt and in pain 
because of somebody else. There is probably, mm, yeah, I would say probably just one person in my life right now at the moment that I don't know why they just don't like me. They probably hate me. I have two options. I can either think about how this person hates me, think about why they hate me, question why, why do you even hate me? I can consume my time and just think about this person. Or I can choose to not think about it and pray for this person and, and you know what, put it in God's hands because you don't know what that person's going through and hey, maybe they just want to do what you're doing. Maybe they just want to succeed in the way that you're succeeding. Maybe they were actually bullied themselves and now they're just trying to get revenge and, and hurt somebody else. Whether you think they deserve it or not, you need to forgive them. Now, me being me, I'm not gonna, I'm, no, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I'm a nice person. Like, I will treat somebody with respect no matter who you are, whether you are living on the streets or you're, you know, a celebrity. I will treat you with the same respect. Whether you are white, black, Mexican, Asian, freaking rainbow colored, I don't care. I am going to love you for who you are because we are all people, we all feel things, we all get hurt sometimes and it's not okay for any of us to feel that way because of somebody else. I, I'm just, I just want to let you know that this, it's not easy to forgive, you know? It's easier said than done, of course, I get that. I know that myself. I couldn't just forgive this person in three seconds, you know, I couldn't just forgive them overnight. It's not, it's not like that. You, you shouldn't be forced to feel that way because if you, if you can do that, then that's amazing. But we're all human. We all feel things. We all get hurt by these things. So you know what? Take your time. Forgive them. Pray. Pray about them. Pray about them like you would pray for your own mother. Pray about them like you would pray for your own father, your family. When you can get to that point and when you can say, Lord, please bless this person just and feel it, actually feel like you want that for that person, then that's when you know that you have forgiven them. That's when you know that you are at this point where you can just, if something happens to you, if something bad happens to you, you can get over it. Each time something bad happens, you can get over it faster and faster and faster because you know in your heart where you stand and I don't know, I just really felt the need to make this video and post this for you guys because I know I'm not alone and I know there are so many good people out there. I know there's so many people that are anti-bullying and anti-haters and all that, but the main thing that I wanted somebody to get out of this is just to be strong and if you have haters in your life and if you have people that are bullying you, just stay strong and you know what? All you can do is love them because God knows, God sees everything. You can talk about karma, whatever, but God is the one to see them treating you this way. You know, law of attraction, if you're saying these things are gonna keep happening to you, they're probably gonna keep happening to you. So just stay positive and just know that there's better days to come and remember who you are. Just know who you are and stay that person. Don't ever change for somebody. Don't ever think that, oh, this guy likes me because I do this, blah, 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 blah. If, if you know in your heart that that's not the right thing to do and you're going out there and doing these things, you know, just step back a minute and think, you know, am I doing the right thing for myself? And not just for anybody else, but for myself. Am I being who I really want to be? You do not need to change for anybody. Don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wrong when you know in your heart that it's right. You just need to think, is what I'm doing the right thing in God's eyes? If you, if that is your go-to statement, then you are going to succeed and you are going to be who God has called you to be. If just one, if just one of you guys got something out of this, then that's all I wanted. That's all I can ask for and my life is made. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope at least one of you got something out of this. If you were listening to this and you thought of a friend or something like that, go ahead and tag them in this or put this video in their inbox, something like that, because I know there's at least a few of you guys that want to hear this message and could really get something out of it. Be happy, stay positive, be who you are called to be. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing day. But if